In this demo, we're going to learn how to take a Photoshop layered file and bring in all the layers as separate elements into Adobe Animate. It's very useful in the case of an armature like I have here on screen right now. And this one was already done, but I'll demonstrate how we can do this. All these parts would have been done in Photoshop and then converted into symbols and then rigged up ultimately. Okay, so I do have a Photoshop file open here. Let me just switch over to it right now. And what we have here is each body part is on its own layer. So if I just bring this down here, you can see as I turn them on one at a time, each part, as I said, is on its own layer. So with that file done and saved, let me just save it again here. I'm going to go over to Adobe Animate and we'll introduce that. So I will start with a new file. File New. And I'm going to go with the full HD and make sure it's HTML5 Canvas. Click Create. And I'm just going to fit that in the window here. And I'll go up to File and Import. So I'll import this to Stage. I just have my one default layer right now. Import to Stage. And what we do is we actually select the Photoshop file. Make sure Enable All. Open All or All Files is selected and then find your layered Photoshop file, click open, and you're going to get this dialog box. There are certain properties here to apply and they apply separately to what you see as each layer. So make sure they're all checked. I'm scrolling down and I'm going to shift click at the bottom to select them all at once. And then I'm going to switch over to bitmap image with editable layer styles. Okay, so by having them all selected, I only have to click this once instead of for each layer separately. And then down here I have another option. I can either go as single animate layer or all my parts in layers. And that, I guess, will depend on you. I'll start by demonstrating animate layers, okay, which is the default. And we'll click import. And what we have here is each part is on its own layer. All right, so I would start by, I would probably start personally by changing the center points to put it where it's going to pivot and line those all up in preparation to rig it. But right now these are all on separate layers. So I'll just demonstrate the second option, if you will. So I'll start with another new file. And we'll go with the full HD again, HTML5 Canvas, Create. And again, I'll just go Fit in Window here. And File, Import to Stage. Again, I select the Photoshop file, click Open, which does launch this window right here. And I'm going to select all the layers again, click on Bitmap Image with Editable Layer Styles. But this time I'm going to put them all on a single layer. Click Import, and there we have it. They are all on a single layer. For the case of rigging, either way is going to work fine for you if uh, there's not too much overlapping. That's why I actually have them all separate right now because you can move them later after you rig uh, in the event that some parts are overlapping and it's hard to rig. Okay. Uh, there was a third way to do it which would have put them all in keyframes. So, you know, that's an option for a different sort of application as well. But that's the simple uh, demonstration of how to import a layered Photoshop file and have it come in as elements. And each one of these, once again, if I go to my library here in the folder, they are all movie clips, as you can see here. Okay, movie clips. Now, I do have one thing that I want to caution you about, so let me just jump back to Photoshop quickly here, is that if you have an alpha channel, go to your channels, if you happen to have an alpha channel, that will distinctly affect the bounding box. If you notice, I'll go back to Animate again, all the bounding boxes are tight to the shape, right? And that's what you want, that's ideal. If you have something that's creating sort of an invisible area, it's going to generate a bounding box for each one of these uh, body parts, and you basically won't be able to rig it up. So just ensure when you're in Photoshop that you have nothing in your channels as far as extra channels go, okay, before you export this. Otherwise, if you need that channel, just duplicate your file and eliminate the extra channels for the sake of exporting this or importing this from Adobe Animate. Okay, and that's my little cautionary tale about 
uh, running Photoshop files into Adobe Animate. And there you have it, folks, uh, how to import Photoshop files into Adobe Animate, uh, ultimately in this case to rig up an armature.